And what's going on guys, we just wanted to make a quick video here on the channel showing you what's going on with the state of Gears of the War Ultimate Edition on PC using Radeon graphics cards. Now we're using an R9 380 from XFX and a Radeon R9 Nano. Now we're doing it on an i7-4770K with 16 gigs of DDR3 2400MHz RAM and the game is loading from an SSD and we're using the the AMD Crimson drivers or the Crimson software version 16.2 at the moment and what we're going to do is get this off screen as there's no real way to record it so I'm going to cut the camera for just a second we're going to reset up and come back and we're going to show you what happens at 1080p with the high preset and then we're going to look and see what we can do to maybe fix it for now So we've got the benchmark loaded up and I just wanted to show you that it is at 1080p, the lock frame is off and we are on the high preset. Now let's back it off and we're going to go ahead and exit, uh, resume the benchmark and I want you to keep an eye on the screen and I'll point out what we're looking at with the 380. Right, obviously along the left hand side there you can see artifacting and it's consistently in those squares. So it's constantly right there. All right, so that is, well, now we're starting to see it in other places, but it's primarily over here on this side. So that's what you get with that, and you see the stuttering that comes in. Now this is the four gigabyte model. I know some people are gonna question that as to which model of the 380 it is. All right, so I'm gonna turn this off, and when we're coming right back, we're gonna have the Nano hooked up, and we're gonna take a look and see what that does. All right, guys, so we've got the Nano installed now, and I just wanted to show you again that the settings are still the same. So that that's verified. Um, all right, so let's go back and resume the performance benchmark. <laughs> and clearly, I don't have to explain to you where the problem is. It's clearly everywhere. Now, one of the fixes that I that I've seen listed on the forums for Gears of War that they suggest trying is to disabling ambient occlusion. Well, while we've got it up, let's just see how that does. Alright, so there's ambient occlusion. Turn it off. Accept it. And... Moment of truth. Okay, looks like it fixed it. So, But now you notice some stuttering. So it looks like the biggest problem is something to do with ambient occlusion and the GCN 1.2 cards. The reason I say the 1.2 being the 380 and the Nano as well as the Fury and the Fury X is that this behavior doesn't show up on my 290X. It looks just like this except with ambient occlusion activated. But that's been it guys. We just wanted to show you guys real quick you know in a video even though it is off screen uh, what's going on and what to look out for and you know a potential temporary fix for it until something either the game or drivers are updated to resolve this problem. But that's been it, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.